Thanks for tuning in at Brackies. Hello everyone and welcome to video number 11 in the how to program in C Sharp course. Today's video we are going to take a look at inheritance, basically deriving classes from other classes. And uh, what inheritance means, uh, we'll get into in a second. But first of all, I just want to explain that inheritance is an, an extremely important subject and it's considered one of the three pillars or uh, primary characteristics of the, an object-oriented programming language. Because basically what inheritance allows us to do, and I've made this horrible looking graphic here, but it will do for now, is it will allow us to share code between classes. Uh, basically, if you have a base class, imagine uh, that we are making an RPG and uh, we have this base class called our hero and he has different properties um, that are general for all heroes uh, such as um, a, uh, a health amount, a, um, maybe a strength amount, a uh, amount of intelligence and all of that. And uh, then we have some derived classes that basically share all of those uh, properties uh, but also add on uh, some new ones. So uh, a derived, cl uh, derived class could be a shaman and he might have some abilities and another one could be a warrior. He might be able to yield a specific kind of weapon. All those kind of things uh, can be derived from the same base class. And then basically what we do is we instance the derived class. So um, when we then change this instance, um, it's not going to be, uh, the base uh, val values are not going to be changed for all of the instances. Uh, that's not the point. The point is just reusing uh, the code. So uh, let's try this out. So let's open up uh, Xamarin Studio and I've started with a clean slate here. And uh, we're going to start up by creating our base class. And we do that just as with any uh, other class and we are going to call this animal stick to the same uh, that kind of idea that we've been using so far uh, this concept of an animal that then has some different properties and that's going to be a public string which will be the name and we're not going to default it to anything uh, a public public integer which is going to be the age and a public float which is going to be the happiness uh, I think uh, these values will be pretty general and uh, will pretty much apply to any kind of animal. Uh, so uh, other than that, we can also give it a, a method. So we're going to do a public void. And uh, this uh, method is going to simply print the base uh, values. So this could also be something that alters. Maybe we could call this um, age uh, to, to make it actually uh, age, uh, so simply just add one onto the uh, age value. Uh, we could call it um, um, be happy and <laughs> we could add on to the happiness uh, value. We could print out only the name. We could do a bunch of things uh, with this. But for now, we are simply going to print all of the base values. And uh, in here, we're simply going to do uh, console.writeline uh, name and then plus the name. We're going to do console.writeLine h, oops, h, and then the h. And finally, we're going to write out the happiness. Cool. So this is going to be our base class. And um, uh, you will notice that we don't... Uh, give this a keyword to say that this is our base class. And the reason why is we don't really need to specify that. Um, classes can derive from other classes that derive from other classes. So the term with a, a base and a derived class is relative. So um, next up, we're going to create our derived class. And uh, this is going to be called uh, dog. And it's going to derive from, and therefore we do a colon, animal like this. Now the uh, dog class will uh, share all of uh, the um, base values here or the base fields with the animal class. So inside of this we could maybe do a um, public integer and this is just what we want to add on to it and this could be uh, the spot count, the number of spots that it has uh, on its body. And uh, also we could do maybe a method in here just to show that that will work too. And uh, we're simply going to call this bark. 
And uh, what this will do is it will simply print out a wolf. Awesome. And we can simply just copy this, change this to a to a cat, which is also going to derive from animal. And this is going to have a different property here, or the point uh, wouldn't be. So this could maybe be a float of uh, cuteness. And I know that dogs too can be cute, <laughs> but uh, stick with me here. Uh, and uh, this is going to have a, a meow uh, method. And then in here, we simply do print out. Yeah. Cool. So basically, this is kind of the base of inheritance. Uh, what we can do now is simply use this. So it's it's very easy to use. It, I mean, it doesn't require that much more syntax, but it can really help organize uh, your program, make it easier to read, uh, minimize errors, and uh, definitely minimize redundancy. Uh, you don't want to do the same thing over and over, and inheritance will definitely help you on that. I mean, this is central to many different kinds of programs. You can write an entire program without using inheritance, though that would normally uh, be uh, not a very good idea. I mean, if you're making an RPG, you cannot get through that without using inheritance. So um, now inside of our main method, um, we can start instantiating these derived classes. So now we have, if we go back to our graphic, we have a base class called animal. We have a derived class called cat and another one called dog. And now we'll instance these and uh, we'll see what we can do with that. So let's start out by making a dog. And we're going to call this one Spuddy. And we're going to set him to a new dog. And uh, first off, let's set his name, whoops, <laughs> spuddy.name equal to spuddy. We'll set his age equal to, um, what are we going to do? Uh, We're going to say four years old. We're going to set his uh, happiness to 0 0.8. And uh, next up, we can access the values that are specific to this derived instance. So the spot count. And you will notice that we, of course, can't access the cuteness because that's um, specific to the cat. But we can access the spot count and we're going to set that equal to 25, hence his name. And uh, finally, we're going to say spuddy dot, oops, spuddy uh, dot, and uh, we are going to print his base. And uh, then we can maybe uh, make him bark. So if we just test this and uh, hit play here, whoops, uh, of course we need, uh, and it's just going to say that this is going to always have a default value of zero because we're not using it. And uh, that's only a warning, so we can just ignore it for now. We're going to be using it in a sec. Uh, so for now, we can just do console.rekey here. Um, so it won't quit immediately. So let's try that again. And you can see that it prints out the name Spuddy. He's four years old. He has a happiness of 0 0.8. And he can say Woof. Great. So uh, let's see. Let's say that inside of this derived class, we want to access one of the parameters inside of the animal class. So basically, we can do this by simply typing. And this is very easy. By simply typing happiness and now we've accessed that parameter so it's simply going to do that for us but let's say we had a uh, value of happiness here and a value of happiness here i don't know why you would do this uh, but sometimes uh, you need to do this um, if especially uh, this can be custom if you're uh, passing in some um, arguments and you want to set the base class through the derived class uh, then this can be a normal thing but basically if you have uh, happiness here and happiness here uh, you can make sure that this is the one you're accessing uh, by doing base dot happiness and some people like to do this even though it's not necessary to be um, very um, to be very thorough and, and show that uh, the uh, value that we are accessing is not actually a member of this class but of the uh, base class so uh, if we uh, say that we want our happiness to uh, go up with 0 0.1 every time we woof. 
then uh, we can simply do that there and then we can uh, print out down here um, we can print out uh, his new happiness and that's going to be equal to spuddy that happiness now that we've barked. So let's try that again. And you can see that his happiness goes up with a 0 0.1. So we've accessed and changed a value in the um, base class. So let's just for uh, uh, just to show you this, uh, let's make an instance of the cat also. And we are simply going to call this uh, Heisenberg. And we are equals, going to equal him to a new cat. We are then going to say Heisenberg dot name equals Heisenberg. Uh, Heisenberg dot age equals, and we are going to make him old. So we're going to do 13. Uh, his happiness is unfortunately uh, not too high. It's an old grumpy cat. And uh, his cuteness uh, is not too high either, so that's maybe why he's grumpy. And uh, then we're going to print out the base. And uh, we're going to make him do a meow. Cool. And uh, in, uh, in between these, I simply want to make some space here. So let's just make an empty line there. Awesome. And, and this error should go away when we run. And you can see now that it first prints out all of the data about the, um, the dog, and then it goes on to print out data about the cat. So that was basically it for this tutorial. It was kind of a quick one compared to some of the others, but I thought that I would really just encapsulate this in uh, one single video. I mean, there's much more to talk about when it comes to inheritance and how it can be used, uh, especially when it comes to um, kind of uh, protection levels. Um, but I think that this is what we're going to stick for, uh, stick to for now. I, I don't think, uh, we're going to need to kind of delve into more until we get a little more advanced, um, with, uh, C sharp. So, um, that's basically it for this video. I will just quickly uh, go through exactly what happened, what uh, is happening here. If you haven't got it, uh, if, if you feel like you've got this covered, uh, you can just skip this. So basically what we're doing is we're creating the base class called animal. We are giving him some different properties and we are making sure that these are public so that we can access them. We are also making a method called print base that will just print all of the values in our base class. Then we are creating a class called dog that derives from the animal base class. This basically takes all of these parameters and copies them in at the top here including our method. And what this will allow us to do is simply add on to these values a spot count and a method for backing. And we do the same with the cat. It basically derives from this class, meaning that all of these are just copied in here. And uh, then we add on a cuteness level and a method for saying meow. Then down here, we are creating an instance of the dog. We are naming this spuddy we're filling out a bunch of different parameters for Spuddy. We are then printing out his base. We are backing. And then we are uh, checking our new happiness. So when we run this, uh, uh, you can see the result of that. And that's basically all there is to it. So that was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one.